Yes, yes, yes. Trafile Dawkins Combat Radio with another one. And today, we're reviewing the Derek Chisora versus Gachi and Dave Allen versus Brown. Let's start off with the the co-main event of that event. Derek Chisora versus Gachi. Chisora, Gachi. Can't really pretend it was anything other than what it was, which was, uh, uh, I hate to say it, but it was an uninteresting, largely uninteresting fight. Well, that's not strictly true. Gachi, the guy in the red, green and black shorts, he's a southpaw. More skill, I see more skill than he's given credit for. He was circling away, certainly, but with his southpaw stance and his readiness, excuse me, and his readiness to whip in shots to the dome, he was not really an easy opponent. Not easy. He's only got one star on box rec, but he's an awkward customer. There's no doubt about it in my mind. This Gachi guy, although low ranking, he is awkward. And he doesn't come to lie down, not at all. He whips in hooks with a southpaw stance in awkward fashion. And he made the fight messy, hard to get to. He was constantly circling away against the ring. So he didn't stand in the middle. He stood with his back mostly against the ring and circled away constantly, occasionally setting his feet and whipping in shots. Far more awkward than given credit for. Uh, Derek Chisora, to me, I don't know why he's sticking around. Obviously, it's what he does. He loves doing it. That's why he's sticking around, but... I don't know what he can hope for, really. I really don't know what he can hope for. I don't know what he can hope for. But it's boxing. He loves doing it. So that it is what it is. An interesting fight, largely. Went to 12, went to 10 rounds, sorry. And Chisora won. That's all I can say about that. And here we see Lucas Brown. In the all force position, this fight against Dave Allen, it was interesting. It was actually a fun fight. It lasted for three rounds. Lucas Brown, he was quite funny at the start because he was mixing it up. He was jab, jab, double jabs, throwing in double jabs at Dave Allen's head, connecting with quite a few of them in the first round. It was it was fun. Uh, and then as the fight went on, even though it only lasted three rounds, Dave Allen started mixing in his shots upstairs, going down to the body. He got warned once when, uh, or twice, with uh, blows just on the belt or just below the belt, to the side, to the hips, to the hips of Lucas Brown. It was a fun fight. Uh, they were mixing it up. They were trading. Lucas was doubling up on his jab early on. And then slowly but surely, the tide turned. Well, quickly, the tide turned into Dave Allen's, <clears throat> into Dave Allen's favor. And then he whipped in a few body shots. And you could see Dave, Lucas Brown, rather, in the third round. He stepped back from one of them. That was a sign for Dave Allen to go to the body. And uh, in kickboxing, we call we call that a liver shot. In boxing, they tend to call it a shot below the floating rib. 
to Lucas Brown's right side. So it was a left hook under the floating rib of Lucas Brown delivered by Dave Allen and Lucas Brown wheeled away backward steps, backward steps, backward steps and then down to the ground he went from whence he did not come back that was it, this was the position this was the position an interesting fight, a fun fight I came in thinking, oh no, Dave Allen, wow, I don't know how, what this is going to be like, but it was fun, it was a fun fight, Dave Allen, well that's a whole different story, I don't know what to think about Dave Allen, you know, I don't know what to think about a guy who's most known for his reluctance to train, made his name from his reluctance to train, coming into fights and saying, I've barely trained for this, I've hardly trained for this, I've only got a few rounds in, I haven't got any rounds in. That doesn't sit well with me. It doesn't sit well with me. It's like a racing car driver saying, oh, no, 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 I don't do warm-up laps. I don't come out. I don't check the track. I don't drive around slowly, look for the, the bumps, look for the fast areas. Where do I break the braking spots? No, 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 I don't do that. I just show up and jump in the car. Some people might find it maverick and laudable and applaudable. I do not. That's my problem with Dave Allen. I do not find that laudable or applaudable. I like guys who apply themselves to the, their craft. Craftsmen. Craftsmen. I like craftsmen. People who study the sweet science and try to become the best that they can be in all aspects of the sweet science. Dave Allen is not that. Although in this camp he did knuckle down, I think at Eddie Hearn's insistence, I think word is Eddie Hearn insisted that you come, you come to a particular gym or whatever, and I will be checking up on you. That is the word. You need to be applying yourself to your craft 100%. And you could tell in, you could tell in, uh, Alan's structure he has been training hard hard work with intellect pays off and we got a result here against Dave Allen who I personally think is another one that should retire but who am I to tell a man who's enjoying his work or enjoying the money he gets from his work that he should retire so I shall refrain but yeah that's the wrap up Chisora wins, point win, over 10 round, and Allen in an entertaining scrap with Lucas Brown. Very entertaining. Okay, that's the wrap-up. It's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. That would be much appreciated. So you can stay in tune and notified about the coming each video upload. Okay, thank you. Raphael Dawkins, like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I'm out.